How's it going, everybody? Nick Daniels here, coming at you live yet again, and today we're talking about Coffee Meets Bagel in 2022. So, Coffee Meets Bagel uh, is an app that I have reviewed before. Hopefully, I pin it up here on the top here. Um, the general app setup is actually not too bad. It's, it's pretty good. But there are some things that make this app stand out a little bit more than the usual one. And, uh, of course, that's what we're going to talk about here today. Um, so, the yeah, so the general app, uh, I'll put it up here, obviously. But the app setup is pretty straightforward. You know, picture, um, whatever. It was weird that it asked for an Apple ID. It wanted me to use an Apple ID to, to create the account. Um, I don't really know why you would use that um, at all, if anything, you know, I guess I could see a reason or two, um, out there, but, uh, you know, you go with that. Um, so like, yeah, you put your name on there, you know, your preferences, obviously, uh, you know, what you're looking for, you have your email. Uh, I don't know if you actually like sign into that, uh, at any point. I mean, naturally when you download like an app, like again, coffee meets bagel or CMB, it's, it's calls itself. Um, it just seems to kind of automatically open. So you're pretty good there. Um, the preferences of what you're looking for are a little, like, kind of a little more straightforward. They're, they're, they're really, you know, serious relationship, whatever, whatever. You don't really get any um, anything else in there. Um, and then when you identify as your gender, of course, they've got, like, 50 of them there. So, I mean, like, it, it really inclusive if you, that's something you're looking for. Um, in the app, there's definitely options. Like, you will not be displeased um, with that. So once you get through the initial setup anyway, it try, it, it, it constantly, um, through the app, it'll give you like random prompts, like on the top or to the right or whatever. Um, and it'll be like random things that'll tell you like, like tool tips. It'll be like, Hey, like, you know, profiles that have three pictures are like 15% more likely to do this, you know? So things like that, that they're really trying to influence for sure, to try to get you to upload a couple extra pictures. Um, I didn't really see if you could do, like, a video or something like that. Um, you might be able to. Uh, and I do like those in apps. Like, if you can kind of, if you can slap that in there, I think that's kind of nice. Um, now, I did make a mistake when I first set up the app. And maybe this was, maybe this wasn't my mistake at all. Um, but when I initially did the setup, it asked for, like, age, height, you know, what distance am I looking for? Like that kind of thing, you know, like my preferences and women, but it didn't really let me fill out a lot of my profile. Like it did a very generic profile and I had to go in after the fact and edit in things like what school did I go to? Do I have a pet? You know, things like that, right? That like maybe some people are looking for. Um, so yeah, I had to kind of go back and do that, which was rather unfortunate. Um, and inside the, um, app setup, like when you're initially setting up the account, uh, there is a paywall at one point where it does prompt you to get the premium benefits, uh, which with no further ado, we'll talk, we'll talk about right now. Um, yeah, so it's, and it, and it's very, to me, that's very obtrusive, um, to do that while setting up an account. Um, like you, you know what I mean? I haven't even made the account yet. And you're like, Hey, check out premium. Um, and it's a very weird way of doing it because they're definitely trying to shove that down your throat if they can. Um, so I got it just here on the screen here. Um, so this is apparently what they, they offer. Now, as you know, I'm a stickler when certain things come in, um, in dating apps um, and they try to tell you, you look, you know, you'll get more matches if you get Tinder premium, you know, stuff like that. Right. Um, so let's get to it. So it says two times the dates. You'll get double the dates. Members get up to two times as many quality matches and dates. That makes no sense to me. Like, especially, um, in this app, it functions a little differently. Um, I don't believe, and I could be wrong, but I don't believe there's really a search. There is a discover, but I don't really, I didn't really get the point of it. Um, cause nothing came up. Uh, but you get 12 matches a day is what it's supposed to be able to give you at the tops of 12 matches a day. So you will get like these profiles and then you like, like, or you like them or whatever. And then they, you go from there. Um, so I ran out of them naturally like last time within the first day there was none. So paying for this premium would literally show me no more matches and it would be a complete waste of money. Um, and I hate when they say that you'll get more matches and more dates. How? 
right? Explain to me how, I, like, give me a little vert, like, give me a little line that says, you know, how am I going to get double the dates? How am I going to get more matches? You know, are you going to give me more matches, right? And then naturally I might get more dates. I don't know. Um, see all your likes. Uh, I didn't know some of those were hidden. I only had one, I only had one like on the app anyway, and I could see that like, I could see the profile. Uh, but I'm assuming they must be hidden if you get so many. Uh, eight discover likes a month. Um, so apparently you can send likes to people who catch your eye in discover. So it's what I mentioned earlier. I think discover is more of a search, but it looks like obviously from that you're paying to like those profiles and not naturally letting them come to you, um, through their 12 a day thing. Uh, premium preferences, uh, so you can set relationship goals, smoking habits, and then more that's in the suggested. Again, massive waste of time and money to lock down preferences. I don't understand it. Three boosts a month, so you get up to five times the views plus likes that get shown sooner. Uh, okay. So, like, certain things like that I just can't understand. Uh, unlimited skip the line, send flowers to popular people to stand out and be shown first. That sounds like a super like to me. Um, unlimited rewinds. So you can like, if I said no to a profile, I could rewind that, take it back. Um, again, like you have a limited amount of them. I don't know how many you have, but to limit the amount of those that you can use is just ridiculous. Um, Activity reports, so you can see who's worth your time with activity in chat data. We will get into that in just a moment. But the activity reports, I didn't really understand. I didn't pay for it, so I can't too, too, talk too much on the feature. Uh, but it seems to be like you can see like their response time, um, you know, when they were last online, that kind of thing. Like, you know, Kijiji has that feature. Like, oh, like my, my average time on Kijiji is about two hours to answer you. So like maybe that's what it says there, which I think is hilarious. Because, like, are you, like, basing a match off of that? Like, okay, she's going to respond a little quickly. I'm going to, you know, I'll give her a like. Um, read receipts so you can know when someone has, like, read your message. It really only works, in my opinion, as a first message. Um, bean discounts. You get 15% more when you buy beans from the shop. Beans seems to be their in-store currency um, that you can use to, like, message, to like, those kind of things. Uh, I didn't see a way to get those for free, so you probably got to buy the beans. Um, I don't remember if I actually put it in the video, so I will have to cue that on my phone real quick because I need to see what the go what they go for. Um, anyway, so the best value they prompt you here um, for six months, so it works out to $27 a month, your build every six months, and it is 100 apparently on sale or something, because that is 282 by it, 159.99. Um, again, which works up to 27 dollars a month. Um, I don't like when places will suggest the automatic six months, like because it's the way they obviously get more money. Um, you can go to their other plans, and then you see three months at 99.99 um, for 34 dollars a month. And 47 a month works out to 46.99, which is the one month plan. And there's no 12 month plan that I could see. Now those are all your options of premium. Um, I think that's fairly expensive for six months. Um, that's a that's a bit high to me. Um, you know when I when I see these apps that do that when they, you know when they when they prompt you right away to do that kind of thing, really ridiculous. Um, again, you also get, um, if you want to look at the activity report here, um, you have to pay obviously for the feature. So it does say chats with ma uh, matches. So how often they message matches, uh, sends the first message, how often they're going to break the ice. That's a weird one to me. Uh, most women wouldn't do that. So I don't see the point of it. Um, uh, you can see if they're active within 72 hours, um, and then replies within, and then it's the average time it takes them to reply. Um, so I, I guess the chat chats with matches is different because like they, that's probably like a first chat. That's an initiation chat, uh, which again, I would just, I would, I would feel bad almost not to assume that, um, most women are not going to do that. Um, now keep in mind, by the way, too, this app, I'm pretty sure is more popular, more in like Asia, UK. Um, so Canada, maybe it's not really hit, especially Halifax. Um, but I only found one person in this app that wasn't Asian. Uh, I have no problem with Asians. I, I think Asian women are very attractive, but it, it is just the only, that's the only ethnicity that I saw except one other white person. 
Um, so it's interesting to see that that you you get a very you get a very selective group I think when you go into this app um, and just keep that in the back of your mind I think as well uh, you know and maybe that's why it's not as popular or something I'm not too sure um, just one second I'm looking for the beans here so you can boost your profile um, and automatically like you don't have to do it through the um, you know the the premium and it will cost you these 750 beans. Um, now, as you see here, I think I've got it here in my, in my video um, at a few points in the top right corner. I started out with like 1,300 beans, um, which I thought was fine. I think I had a good amount of beans, whatever that means. Um, and then when I had gone into my profile, I realized that you can just add these profile prompts. It'll ask you for them. It'll be like, hey, like, do you want to add a prompt? Um, and I added like four, I think. And I just kept adding them and adding them. And there was no limit or it wasn't like, you know, two out of three or whatever. And it was really odd that, that they wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't capitalize on that and tell you. Like, it's like you could just keep making prompts and uh, there'd be no questions, you know, uh, or whatever. Um, Going back through the profile again, like, once you go, like, I had to go back through it and refill things out. Um, like, you could fill out, like, your priorities, your ideals, causes you like, um, interests. A lot of it, I think, is fluff. There really wasn't much of a bio, per se. Uh, again, it was, like, the prompts and, and whatever. Um, for some reason, I couldn't get the interest to load. I tried, like, four times to get the actual interests page to load anything. Um, and it would just, it would just be blank every time. I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. Um, if I was supposed to do something, it, it was very ridiculous. I just could you know, I couldn't get through it. Um, of course there's like COVID dating. Um, you know, that's a thing. Uh, we're going to look up the beans here real quick. I need to know. Okay. So I actually just got on the app here. I've got it. I've got it right here. Um, it immediately prompted me for six months of premium for seventy one ninety nine US. Um, is apparently some limited time offer. Um, they're really trying <laughs> on the premium here. Uh, okay, we're going to exit that. 40% off, apparently. So we're going to look at the beans here. So buy beans to unlock features. Um, so I don't know if, like, you can use the beans to specifically, like, buy things. I know you can buy, like, the boost, but I don't know if you could buy anything else. So 3,000 beans... Um, yeah, so 3,000 beans goes for uh, $34.99, 2,000 beans is $32.99, and then 100 is $279, and you can get 500 and 200 by following on the Instagram and apparently inviting someone, I think, to the, to the app, um, to, like, to invite them there. I really don't know what you can do with the beans that, like, really do anything. Because I have nobody here to, like, I'm, I'm right now looking at it and I don't have anybody here to message or anything. Um, but I'm assuming, like, probably starting a chat, buying the boost, anything like that is probably going to cost you beans. Uh, which I think is funny. So overall, like, I don't think the app is terrible. But, like, you just have no user base. Um, you know, you have a very expensive premium, in my opinion, that doesn't really entitle very much to you. Um, you do get perks, and it's like, I always say, man, like, a lot of these perks are rubbish. Um, you know, again, like, oh, I, I have a better chance of getting a match. Ridiculous. Now, uh, we're gonna move to the computer and to wrap up the video. So, when I first started Coffee Meets Bagel, this has only been several days, uh, about five, six days right now. Every day, up until today... Um, I have got an email from Coffee Meets Bagel promoting something to me. Um, so for example, let's check out the emails here. So the first one, it says, let's talk about the science of matching. And they go through, um, like what, what a preference versus a deal breaker is. Um, you know, like, okay, I like a little distance, but like, you know, way too much, that kind of thing. You know, uh, it says give maybe bagels a chance, which is basically like, I'm not so sure about this lady, but I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt, and go for it. And then it on, it talks about premium, which is ridiculous. It says how premium can help, and of course they feature it, and they're like, go get premium, and there's an, a URL to go get it. Um, the second one here I got was five tips for matching, or sorry, making the most of your profile. Um, so I think it's like how to make a profile. Um, tip number one apparently is treat your profile like a giant icebreaker. Um, you want to stand out like a crowd, which I guess makes sense. 
um, get specific, that can kind of help, that can kind of not. I think you want to kind of keep it vague in a way. So people have more info, like they they have more to ask you, uh, but give them information, you know, give them enough. Uh, it says, tell them what you want, give them a laugh, like be funny, um, and you're awesome, be awesome. You know, again, like none of this, I'm looking at and going, wow, I couldn't think of this. Uh, do's and don'ts of dating profiles, you know, have it light, you know, have some light, say cheese, share what you love, uh, full length shot. Most people don't do that, by the way. And show off your face. D uh, the don'ts, apparently. And I love that it doesn't even, like, really show the pictures. It's just, like, a, it's just like a bullet point here. Uh, you know, like, group shot. Uh, ancient photos. Don't look sexy. Don't try to look sexy. Uh, don't hide under glasses and hats. Like, okay, who cares? Um, and then this one's, like, nice to meet you. Here's what to expect. Um, like, okay. Um, but it, I guess it gives you the basic rundown of the premium, how to buy beans, which is funny. Um, and the discover suggested in the bagels, the bagels are your matches. And finally that it was like, this one says I've been approved. Um, which was like hilarious. I was like, I made a profile and it's like, oh, Hey, here's an email. You've been approved. Um, uh, don't understand. So I think overall, yeah, I don't really think I'd recommend coffee meets bagel and it hasn't really got any better. It's anything. It's probably a little worse, um, than it is in 2022 or sorry. And like when I did, it was like 2019, 2020, uh, the first time. Um, maybe in a different region where there's, like, more people, it would be worth checking out the app and, like, giving it a serious effort, uh, but I think, like, where I am and, like, just the amount of people, it's really a waste of time. Like, get on Bumble and you'll have way more experiences where you can actually get matches. Um, you know, I think what they, what they're doing is fine, like, per se, but again, like you're just competing with other apps that have much bigger bases of people. And that's probably the biggest competition. It's just having that against you, you know, having a user base that's like, like 18 times the size of you, people are just going to go to the bigger one, right? Like everyone's going to go to the bigger one. So anyway, let me know what you guys think of the video. Take it easy. Nick Daniels, Coffee Meets Bagel. See you later. Peace.